Mackenzie Gray joins us now. Mackenzie, Trudeau's Liberal government responded to this case for the first time today. What did they have to say? Well, the minister in charge, Carolyn, Dominic LeBlanc, said he met with both the head of CSIS and the RCMP yesterday to get more details on how someone who allegedly participated in aggravated assault on an ISIS prisoner in 2015 was able to immigrate to Canada. The internal reviews in terms of uh, the security screening process with uh, the Department of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship are ongoing. The review is about 62-year-old Ahmed El Didi and his son Mustafa El Didi, who's 26, both arrested on July 28th in a Toronto area hotel room on numerous charges, including terrorism-related offenses. Police alleging the pair were in the advanced stages of planning a terrorist attack in Toronto and had filmed a video of themselves holding weapons in front of an ISIS flag. LeBlanc still trying to figure out all the details. It might be interesting to know when that information came to light and when that information was in the hands of which decision maker. An excellent question that the government so far has refused to answer, citing privacy reasons and the pending court case. But here's what we do know so far. National security sources tell Global News that in 2015, Ahmed El Didi allegedly appeared in a video released by ISIS that shows a man dismembering a prisoner with a sword that took place overseas. Global News has seen what is believed to be the video, but is choosing not to show it due to its graphic nature. After this video, the elder El Didi immigrated to Canada and eventually obtained citizenship. But the government has not said how, when, or why he was admitted. It wasn't until nine years later, this summer, that police became aware of the elder El Didi. Was he on your radar at all before the beginning of July? No, sir. Weeks later, both El Didis were arrested. The RCMP broke up the alleged Canadian terrorism plot, and the father was charged with aggravated assault, in part related to the 2015 ISIS video. While the allegations have not been proven in court, Carolyn, both the NDP and Conservatives are asking how El Didi was admitted to Canada and why he was not on law enforcement's radar soon. Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa, thank you.